Now, top of the list, Colorado, and for each state, we'll show you how much toxic waste, the size of the carbon footprint, and alternative energy. Uh, Colorado does well, for example, on alternative energy at that 10% makes it 14th. And then other things like clean drinking water help add to the, its weight in the list. Number nine is Oregon, which uh, one of the good things on here, again, is alternative energy. They rank third. Now, they're in the middle for pollution metrics, but they did really good in policy, making sure the future is much greener. Now, number eight, Idaho, and number one on the alternative li energy list, um, 80 5%. That's incredible. And because of that, less carbon emissions. Montana comes in at number seven. And it's one of the good things about Montana, tied for the lowest rate of ozone particles in the nation. Finally, South Dakota is number six. Rates high in all the three categories shown. But as I said, there's 27 different categories. And uh, one thing it doesn't do is great in some of the public policy. So number five on the list, Hawaii, with less than 1,000 tons of toxic waste. That's wonderful. That put it number one for a good metric. And for all of these, we're showing you toxic waste, emissions, and alternative energy. Um, another thing that they are great for is different air quality me measurements. And they're six in energy-saving programs. Now, number four on the list is Nevada. Uh, some things that bring them to the top, their lowest level of water pollution. Granted, they get a boost from that by being an arid state and not a lot of fresh water to pollute. Um, they also have some great alternative energy production. Number three is New Hampshire. One of their metrics, very low pollution, including harmful particle pollutions, which of course impacts your lungs. Maine is number two, half the energy generated from renewable resources. That's wonderful. And this being a timberland state, a lot of that is wood resources. Finally, drum roll number one, Smallest population is, or second smallest, is Vermont. So they have less pollution, a small carbon footprint. But one thing that also makes them shine is great plans for the future to keep the environment in check.